Hey, what's up guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about Tommy Emanuel's warm-up. I've watched a lot of interviews with Tommy, and one of the things that I notice he's said in multiple interviews when people ask him, hey, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? What's your routine? How do you warm up your guitar playing? And I've heard him say multiple times, sometimes I just play Cannonball Rag for an hour. Um, <clears throat> sometimes, some days. I'll just play uh, purely for motor skills to build strength. So I'll play Cannonball Rag for an hour. You know, go. And there's a video that Guitar Center posted about him talking about this as a warm up exercise. You may have seen it. Check it out. So what I wanted to do with today's video is break down this exercise and it's pretty high level. I feel like this is like one of those old, you know, DVDs or VHS videos where they would have an instructor come in and the guy would be just an incredible player and then they'd have another person there to sort of interpret what they're talking about to where just pure mortals can understand what they're talking about a little bit better. So that's the goal of today's video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this chord progression to Cannonball Rag. And I have another video just doing the basic chord progression of this, so I'll link that up below. But after you've watched that video, you'll know that the, the changes are basically just E7, A7, D7 to G for the first part. And they just go around and around like, over and over for that for that first A section. It goes twice. And what Tommy does is he plays this cool pattern over those changes like this. So what he's doing is he's starting out on an E chord, just an open position E chord. Open, two, two, one, open, open. And he's moving up with these passing chords to get to the A. And then he repeats the process. So you've got an E chord here, and then you walk up to two on the low E string, one on the D string, and two on the G string. So you've got a little three note chord here. And it walks up each fret. So if you start with, if you count where your second finger is, you're going to be on the second fret, third fret, fourth fret. So you've got E, and then walk up. And then you go to an A, like an A bar chord here, which is our next chord in the chord progression for Cannonball Rec. So you play A, and this is a stock position, you know, bar chord here, five, seven, seven, six. And then you do that same walk up, but this time we're gonna start on the seventh fret. We'll use that same shape, seven, six, seven. And we'll walk up chromatically, seven, eight, nine. So we've got E, then A, then D. We'll play the same shape as we did for A, just on the 10th fret. So we get up to this D chord, it's going to be 10, 12, 12, 11. And then we're going to walk down to C. We'll use that same shape, just bring it down two frets. Then we're going to go to G over B. And then this looks like a D7. It's that same shape that we were using just on the fifth fret, five, four, five. So we go D, C, G over B, D 
seven and then G. So this is gonna be our walk for the D seven chord. And then we're gonna go G, this will be a G uh, thumb chord here, third fret on the low E, mute the A string, fifth fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, and third fret on the B string. Then we're gonna walk up with that same move like we did on the E and the A. We're gonna play this G chord and then go the uh, shape here, it looks like a D7 on five, four, and five, and walk up chromatically. Fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. So from the D, you go D down to C, G over B, D7, and then G, and walk up. So it's really just a series of walking up and walking down through the chord progression. So E, walk up, A, keep walking, get to D, turn around, go back down, and now G, go back up, and then start again. So those are the shapes with the left hand or your fretting hand. Let's try it together. Three, four, and... Walk down, G, walk back up, and start again. This is the exercise, it's just working up and down the whole fretboard here, and really just playing all the way down a low string and all the way up to the 12th fret here. You're getting a lot of range out of this. Now let's talk about the finger picking hand. This is just a repetitive pattern that we're gonna keep going over and over as we play through all those shapes. So we're gonna start out on the low E string. Here's what the pattern sounds like. And we're gonna start with our thumb on the low E, then middle finger on the G string, thumb on the D string, and then index on the G string, but we're gonna let up the chord and just play an open string. So we'll start on that E chord and we'll play, hold the E down until you get to that last pick there, so last finger pick. That's our pattern, and then we just repeat over each chord. Keep having that open string in there. It's pretty cool. And then you go up to A, D, G. And then you go to D. Now when we go to the bridge, it's basically just D7, G. D7, G. And then we do the turnaround. So for the, the B section there, we're gonna repeat the D to G part that we played. So we'll go. See that? Now the last part. So that's going to be a C chord, just like our G shape, but up at the 8th fret. To C sharp diminished, which is that same shape that we keep using, this time with the second finger being on the 9th fret. G over B. This is going to be pinky on the 10th fret of the low E, third finger on the 9th fret of the D string, and first finger on the 7th fret of the G string. So C, C sharp diminished, G over D, E7, E flat 7, D7, G. So that just walks down that same shape going chromatically, 7, 6, 5, G. So.
So we're gonna start out with two times through that first progression, then we'll do two times just the D to G, and then we'll do the turnaround that we just learned. And that takes us through the whole song. So this is something literally you can just repeat when you get to that last G, you go back to E and do it again from the top. So let me play through this entire part for you just so you can see how it sounds like played as one piece. Start on the E. One, two, three, go. There you go, guys. That's a breakdown of Tommy Emanuel's warm-up as he talks about in that Guitar Center video. Check out the full video. I'll leave a link below. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Make sure to subscribe. We post new videos here every single day. The goal of this channel is to help you get better at guitar. Also, if you're interested in a free PDF all about soloing, check that out in the description below as my gift to you. I'm John McLennan, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.